Hello everyone. Welcome back to another productive vlog. It's been a hot minute since we've done one of these and today is Saturday so I'm planning to do like a hardcore apartment reset which entails some cleaning, some organizing. I also have a task that I need to run outside of the house so we're gonna do that as well. I will leave the to-do list right here and with that let's get started with the video. Our first order of business is a task that's been on the back burner for way too long, washing my couch covers. I'm embarrassed to say this, but I have not cleaned them since January, so clearly they've reached the point where a thorough power wash is long overdue. Since I'm tackling heavier fabrics today, I also threw in my bed sheets and towels into the mix, efficiency at its finest. As you all know, I don't have a proper dining table, so more often than not, I do eat on this white couch, which is kind of insane thinking about it, but that habit has led to a few food mishaps. Don't worry though, I always have my holy grail stain remover in stock. This stuff is literally magic, and it's a staple in my cleaning arsenal. So you've heard me talk about Seat before, and I'm super excited to be partnering with them again for this video. I've been taking their DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic every single day without fail for the past two months, and I have definitely felt improvements in my health. It's a two-in-one prebiotic and probiotic, and it's formulated with 24 clinically and scientifically studied strands for whole body benefits. It's a product rooted in science, and I love being able to support my gut, heart, and skin health just by taking two capsules a day. And today, I just happened to run out, so I did order my refillables. I love that Seed is environmentally cautious and proactive because your monthly refill comes in a home compostable, bio-based pouch that keeps oxygen and moisture out while being planet safe. If you're interested in checking them out, make sure to click the link down below in my description box and you can use my code JuliaFay for 20% off. Next up, I decided to tackle a neglected area, under my bed. It's been a few months since I've paid any attention to it, and as expected, it has gathered quite a bit of dust. Living here for 9 months now, I've come to realize that storage space is becoming a valuable commodity. To make room for potential future purchases, I needed to optimize how I store my belongings. My method is straightforward. Clear everything out, decide what stays and what goes, and then put everything back in an organized manner. For this task, I bought two organizers from Ikea to store extra bedding and linens. I might go back to purchase more because they fit so well under my bed and they made everything look so much neater. With a solid hour and a half to kill as I waited for my laundry to dry, I decided to quickly meet my friend Yuan uptown at Hudson Yards. We wanted to get our bags inspected and fixed at a leather repair store. Earlier this year, I purchased a pre-loved Chanel bag and it arrived with its straps already showing significant signs of wear. Between my frequent travels and the bag's consistent use, these straps took quite the beating. 
I also had the intention of getting them fixed, but it wasn't until the leather on the straps literally started peeling off that I felt impelled to seek a professional touch-up. The repair costs were a bit more than I expected, but definitely worth it because I got this bag at a very good price. Yuan ended up coming over to hang out for a bit, and thank god she did because I needed help putting the couch covers back on. I might need help with this one. This took forever, but we finally did it. Seriously, the hassle of putting the covers back on is a big reason as to why I wash them so infrequently. But yeah, all the stains came off and it smelled so fresh, and now I have clean cap covers. Okay, the last task of the day was to jar some sauces. I found this delicious recipe on TikTok one day, tried it out, and have become literally addicted to it ever since. So I specifically ordered some mason jars and a mini food processor, which was probably the best purchase of the month, hands down, because I saved so much time. If you don't have one, it's definitely a good investment. And I assembled the chili oil in a jar, so I always have some at hand whenever I need it. Yeah, FYI, I guess heated oil bubbles up if you pour it too fast, so be careful, don't be like me. Also FYI, the jar is very hot, so let it cool down before you leave it. After cleaning up the huge oily mess that I made, I began making the second sauce, dipping fish sauce. I actually didn't realize how much Vietnamese food I cooked until I kept making small batches of this dipping sauce and it got kind of annoying so I learned from my mom, just make a big jar and store it. I also got this recipe from her and it's the type of recipe that's like, your ancestors will tell you when to stop. So no accurate measurements were written down unfortunately, but I'll try to link a similar recipe for you all down below. I like mine a little bit spicy, so I added in some Thai chili peppers, put on the lid, and the two sauces are complete. I also purposely minced extra garlic so that I can score and store it in my freezer for later use. Another great hack that I learned on the internet. To end my long and productive day on a high note, I cooked myself some dinner. I'm making this variation of man hoi, which is Vietnamese woven rice noodles, and paired it with nam nung, which is Vietnamese grilled pork sausage. These are just things that I had lying in my fridge, so it's not the most traditional pairing, but you know what? It's my girl dinner. The sausage is pre-marinated, so it's extremely flavorful, and I love it together with the texture of the rice noodle sheets. Everything is super simple to cook, and most of the work is just assembling. I added a bed of salad to add some greens into the mix, fried two spring rolls, found some basil in my fridge, and garnished with some cucumbers. I've noticed that ever since I got a TV, I've been watching a lot of shows. It's a great thing to do to unwind. However, I've come to realize that I spend more time watching TV than I would like to, so I could use a tad more self-discipline in this area. But yeah, I wanted to share some recent shows that I've been watching, and I would love to add some more onto my list. I know I just said I wanted to watch less TV, but you know, I can start a running list and indulge when I have time. So let me know if you have any recs.